In this video, we are going to talk about an upgrade to the MyPod class. Uh, the MyPod class uh, use class composition. We're going to use a uh, my song to build a MyPod. My MyPod is going to be an array of my songs, as well as a string for the color. Uh, so in this class, we have a uh, array called song list. It can hold three songs. I put three songs into it in the one argument constructor here, and I have a two string that will print it out. Okay. Um, so this works great, except there's a couple issues with it. So let me run it first. And the white iPod with the zero argument constructor is a, an empty MyPod, no songs. And here's the blue one with three songs. All right, no problem. But uh, the first problem is, uh, if I tried to add another song, let's add a, another song here. So put four songs into the MyPod that can only hold three songs. You can probably guess that we're going to have a problem with that. Let's go smooth criminal. Okay. So if I try to do that and I compile it, looks like it works. But when I run it, let's see what happens here. I get an out of bounds exception because I only have three songs. This can only hold three songs, and I'm trying to put a fourth one in. So that's a pretty bad error. I can't exceed the number three. Um, Another error we might get, or this is actually not an error, to inefficiency, is if I do create a an array of three elements but only put two in, I'm really kind of wasting memory. Let me close this up here, compile. I'll put the two songs in, which are fine, but then I'll, I'll use this, uh, I won't use the third slot, and it'll be null. So it's empty space, which in it itself is not bad, but you can imagine in a... My pod that had an array of songs, an array of videos, array of pictures. Well, if I didn't use all the song storage space, I've just used space and I can't use it for other arrays. It's locked into this array. So it's, it's an inefficient use of space. So what we can do is we can use another type of array called an array list that's uh, dynamically sized. It'll only be as large as you need to be and it can shrink and grow as you add or remove things from it. Um, so you're not locked into a certain uh, amount of memory for that actual list of songs or list of videos or list of pictures. It's in a very efficient use of storage space. So what I'll do is here, I'm going to, first step is to import java.util.arraylist. We need to do this to use the array list. And just so you can see the difference, I'm just going to comment that out. I'll say private uh, array list of my songs, so it can hold my songs. And I'll call it song list again, same thing. In the constructor, I'm going to say song list equals new array list of my songs. Okay, with the parentheses with the parentheses there. And then over here, in the I'm gonna actually comment putting the songs in as well because that's done slightly differently. I should probably say this. This dot song list equals new array list of my songs. Now, in the array, we used bracket notation to put songs in. With an array list, we use dot add. And uh, I'm just going to copy this guy right here. Put a my song there and one more closing that matches this one at the beginning there. These two are the for the song and the outer ones are for the song list. So I use the dot add method. I say, hey song list, add this song. So it puts it in and it uses the same numbering convention, 0, 1, 2. And I'll say the second song was what stairway to heaven. And the third song was Billy Jean. Okay, so instead of using the bracket notation, I use the dot add notation. And then interestingly enough, I do not have to modify two string. The for loop just says you have an array called song list, array or array list, and it goes through each of the uh, songs and prints them out. Okay, I'm going to add one more line here just for clarity. Let's run it. Let's see if there are errors. Close it, and what happens? And I get my three songs, Don't Stop Believing, Stairway to Heaven, and Billie Jean. Okay? 
Uh, now, what's cool is if I did add a fourth song, because before that was a problem, if I add a fourth song, Smooth Criminal, all right, um, the array list will know, well, I need more space, I'll just add another space, unlike the array where I was locked in. So save it, okay, and there it is, all right. And just to give you a little bit more insight as to what's going on here, I'm also going to, let's see here, after I add the songs, I'm going to, normally we don't print out in a constructor, but I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes, print line. Uh, uh, dot size. The array list knows its size. Notice that uh, using arrays we use dot length. For array lists, we use dot size. Um, thing there so we can see how long it is so it should be a length of four starting at zero one two okay same numbering convention and there the size of the list is four okay and then there's a nice little method in here called this dot song list dot remove so I can remove songs so remove the zeroth one so I'm going to remove don't stop believing okay so it's going to, now, for, let's see, I'll do this. I'll put it underneath here, and I'll print again. So I'll get the original length of four, because there's four songs. I'll remove one, the zeroth one in particular, don't stop believing, and then I'll take a look at the size again, all right? Uh, and you'll see how this uh, array list resizes itself so it uses uh, the least amount of memory. So I'll compile it. Okay, no errors. Close. Compile that. And you can see here the original size is four, but then I did remove one, so now it's three. And you can st see that don't stop believing is indeed gone. So the array list is nice because it dynamically um, re uh, resizes itself, so it takes up the least amount of memory. And also I can add to it if I need more memory. Okay, whereas the array, the regular array, could not do that. So just to review here, the things that I did, I had to import the array list so I could use it. The change in the instance variable is array list my song, so it's an array list of my songs. This it, this tells you what's in it, just as this did here. Give it the same name. To create an array list, I say new array list, kind of like I said, not new my song. Now here I provided a three, notice here I did not provide any number. It'll just create a space when I need it. In the constructor, the one argument constructor, I again had to create the array. And then instead of using the bracket notation, I use the dot add notation so I can add in songs. Um, and then I can, I saw here what the size, what it was. And then again, the two string was nice. I didn't have to change anything. Because the for loop just says you have an array array list. I just cycle through it. And I get each thing, I extract each thing out of it, and I, uh, in this case, output it to the uh, string there for the return value. So that is the upgrade to the uh, MyPod with an array list.